Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. Today we have a different video instead of Digimon. We're gonna show you guys how to play Adventure Time Card Wars, this game. Because uh, Cryptozoic announced after 10 years they're rebooting it. We don't know what that means yet. But I figured it was a good time to get into it. So I'm here and I got my buddy here, Ganon. Hi. Hi. And we're gonna show you guys how to play just one simple game of Card Wars, go over the basics. As you guys can see, we have these leaders, kind of like in One Piece or DBS. The game has a whole bunch of leaders you can pick from. They have effects that you can either use once per turn, or they activate when you meet certain conditions, or whatever. And then these are landscapes. You get four landscapes. He's using two blue plains, two useless swamp. I'm using one swamp, one blue plains, one sandlands, one cornfield. And there's also two more in the game, too. There's nice lands and there's icy lands. Um, these determine the, the uh, cards you can play, basically. So, like, he can play blue characters that cost one or two, and he can play swamp characters that cost one or two. Whereas I can play only characters that cost one of each from these respective landscapes. So my deck is a four-color deck, his is a two-color deck. A mine is kind of like a control deck that can randomly OTK out of nowhere. His is a mill deck, big combo deck, it's fun. And when you're starting off the game, you just basically pick your deck, you pick your landscapes, then you randomly decide who goes first, draw five, mulligan if you want to. So you roll a three, I roll a six, so I'll be starting first. And we'll go into random rules as we go there. There's multiple different card types. Do you want to explain rainbow? Yeah, rainbow, rainbow. We'll do rainbow real quick. Rainbow is a card, is a card color, like these are, but rainbow cards don't need a particular landscape, you can just play them. And while we're looking at this, this is a spell. Uh, spells are like actions or options in Digimon, where like you play them, they go to the discard pile immediately. There's creatures, which are just their creatures, they stick around on the board. And then the third type of card are buildings, which you don't play any of. No. But I play buildings. They say buildings on them, and you put them underneath your landscapes. And this is lane-based card game, which we'll, we'll, we'll explain what that means when it gets there. It's mostly used for battles, the lane-based system. And that's, we'll, we'll just stick with that, we'll explain our cards. And if you want to see some more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. And Cryptozoic, if you're randomly watching this video, if you want a bigger content creator to, you know, help out, nudge, nudge, you know, we'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. All right, so I'm going first. You draw five cards to start the game. And if you don't like your hand, you can mulligan and just put them back in, shuffle, draw five more once. I'll, uh, I'll keep. I will keep my hand too. And just like that, we start. So the turn phases are start of turn, ready phase where you untap all your cards. Then it's the draw phase where any start of turn triggers activate first, then you draw for turn. Then it's your main phase. And then going first, you can't have a battle phase, but it's main phase, then battle phase, then end phase. He's happy, <laughs> that's nice. Um, and there's this action called flooping. I don't have any cards in this deck that say floop. I do. Here. Here. So cards might say floop. Floop means when you, you place a card ready, to floop means you exhaust the character, the creature, and activate its effect. You also can't floop on your first turn. And then you activate the effects. What's really, really interesting is if you do have a battle phase, anything that is not exhausted, so just on the board, straight, has to attack. You can pick the order of which lane attacks in what order, whatever, and you have to battle the opposing creature in that lane. But if there's nothing there to direct attack, you notice we start with 25 life, and the whole point of the game is to take your opponent from 25 to zero. And we will leave it at that. When you start your turn, you get two actions. Actions are like mana you can use those to play cards. So I have two actions. I can pay one of my actions to pay one for this Lime Slimy, which I'm going to do. And this card has two attack and has six defense. When you're attacking a character, uh, simultaneous battle damage occurs and damage counters are permanent, like Pokemon. So this card has an ability that says if control three or more different landscapes, when Lime Slimy enters play, draw two cards. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw two cards. And this is as good a time as any to talk about leaders. So these leaders have different abilities, right? Grand Prix is the leader of this deck. It says that once during your turn, you may put a creature you played this turn back into your hand, then play again for free and put three damage on it. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna use Grand Prix's effect for the turn. 
return line slimy to hand to replay it immediately, it gets three damage. But I guess you on play again. So I'm gonna draw another two cards, which is really, really nice. Now in this game, you can use your actions to draw cards too, if you want to. One action equals one draw. You just wanna make sure you use all your actions before the end of the main phase, otherwise you'll lose them for the whole turn. So what I'm gonna do here is use a zero cost card called Drop Zone. It's a spell, so it just uses it right away. It says return a character to your hand. So I'm gonna turn it to my hand, just like that. And it costs zero, so I can just replay it again if I want to, which I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna play it, and I can play it anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. I'm gonna play it here just for now. On play, draw two. And now I'm all out of actions, and I can't battle on the first turn. So it is now Ganon's turn. All right, so I'm gonna draw. All right, so my leader, he lets me pay one life to flip the top card over and like I get to pick if it wants to stay there or goes to the graveyard. So I will put that in the graveyard. Then I'm gonna play my Ogre Guess. So it's a zero cost rainbow, so I can play it whenever I want to essentially. And then it lets me reveal a top three. Put one of these cards to the bottom of the deck. And then the other is go to the graveyard. Very nice. Next, I'm gonna go Incredible Egg. So it says, reveal the top two cards of your deck, put a revealed cornfield card into your hand, discard the rest. This deck doesn't play any cornfields, so it essentially just makes me mill two. All right. So I now have seven cards in the graveyard. I will use, for one action, a Glorious Gramophone, draw four, discard two. Hmm. I'll discard my skeletal hand and I'll discard my ferret. So three, six, nine, ten. There's now ten cards in the graveyard. Uh, that lets me play Teeth Leaf for free. So I'll play my Teeth Leaf right here. Nice. So one, two, three, four. I'll play Tailgate. So when he enters play, I get to draw cards up to the number of uh, creatures that enter the graveyard this turn. So there are four creatures in the graveyard, so I get to draw four cards. All right, I'm gonna next use an Incredible Egg again. So I just mill two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards. Next, I'm going to play an empty coffin. So I can reduce the cost of the next creature card I play by two actions. So that lets me play Skeletal Hand for free. Now, since it's, uh, Skeletal Hand has a flo floop effect, but since it's the first turn of my it's the, my first turn of the game, I can't use it to floop yet. So now I am all out of actions, and I've used my leader's effect. I'll go to the battle phase and attack for three, five, eight. And since I have no characters in these lanes, these are direct damage to me, so I go from 25 life to 17. Just like that, a third of my life is gone. And my turn is now over. Awesome. So it's my turn, it's my ready phase, I have nothing to untap, I have no start turn effect, so I'll draw for turn. And now I enter the main phase. And... Very scary board that I gotta deal with here. Uh, how do I want to do this is the question. 24 life is a lot. Okay. So I think step one is we play uh, Sailing Sand Crab, Crab for one. When it enters play, I can play a one cost character for free, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to use it to play a blue slimy. And when blue slimy enters play, I get to bounce the character in this lane to the hand. So that goes back to hand, just like that. So we're off to a, a very, very cool start, I'm going to say. And then I have another action that I can perform right now. I also have this that I could use whenever I want. That's pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do is play a card called Gold Ninja. 
Gold Ninja, when enters play, deals one damage to something for every landscape I have, so there's four damage to that. Pretty cool. Love to see it. And that's my other action this turn, so very important. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is activate Grand Prix's ability. I'm going to bounce Gold Ninja in my hand and replay it with three damage, and then this is going to take another four damage. Pretty cool. Now, typically I am all out of actions right now, but there are cards that you can play that give you more actions. Like he has some in his deck and I have Void Thimble. Void Thimble states lose two life and gain an action. So just like that, I have one more action that I can use. And I think the app, before we do anything else, I'm gonna use a drop zone to return Gold Ninja to the hand. And then I'm gonna just play it again with my third action and pop that card. Then we enter battle phase. This does two damage to his dude and he does two damage back to me. Then I'm attacking for six direct damage. And it's his turn. All right. Draw, stand. All right. So I'm going to start my turn off by paying an action to draw three cards with Gnome Snot. I will now use my leader, so I'll drop to 17. Look at the top card. I don't want to draw the ferret, so I'll put him in the graveyard. Okay. You saw nothing? <laughs> got it, got it. I know it's in your hand, it's fine. Uh, okay, so next I will use an unempty coffin. So I get to play the next creature I have with a reduced cost of two. So I will play skeletal hand. And now I'll floop it, and by flooping it, I get to mill the top three cards in my deck, and for every spell I mill, he gets to discard a card. So I milled one spell, two spells, so you have to discard two. I'll discard two great butts. Great. Great. Yep. Grape, even. All right. So now, I have to do a little thing. <laughs> you still have one action left. This is true. Uh, 21. All right, I will use my action for Red Island. Mm. Then I will flip it to add back on Empty Coffin. Mm -hmm. Then I will use an Empty Coffin to play another Red Island. And then floop it. Where are you? Uh, yeah, good. I will add back the one that mills three ogre gas. Okay, cool. And I'll use it. Okay, well, one of these has to go back to the bottom. The rest go to trash. And then my tailgater will be attacking your crab. Cool. And everything else is exhausted, so nothing else attacks. So now it's my turn. I have to ready all my dudes, then draw for turn. And now, uh, cool things you can do. Um, you can replace character creatures on your board by just placing it over top of it. You can't replace a fluked or exhausted character creature but you can do a, just a good old regular whatever. So I'm gonna replace Sailing Sand Cloud, grab by sending it to this card pile, playing Orange Slimy. This card enters play, I deal three damage to an opponent. So three damage directly to you. Then we're gonna use Grand Prix effect, return this to my hand, play it again with three damage, deal three damage to you. And then I think to top it off, I'm gonna play a building, Sandcastle. Sandcastle's ability says I can discard it to put the creature on this landscape into my hand and then play it, play it for free. 
So I'm going to play Orange Slimy again, do three more bird damage. Then we enter combat, uh, we take two damage each, two damage each. Um, your guy dies, I take two damage. And then I take three and you take two. And it's his turn. It's not looking good for me here. Okay, I'm going to flute my red island. Add back an empty coffin. Good. Then I will. That was interesting. Okay, I'm gonna gnome snot. Draw three cards. Cool. One action down. I will raise the dead. So this card is basically just Monster Reborn. Nice. That's your other action, oh no. Next I will floop my ferret. So it lets me draw a card, and then discard a card. And if I discarded a rainbow, I gain my action back. Wow, crazy. So then I will think for a second. Okay. You're at 15? Yes, sir. I will use my last action for Sword Bouquet to deal all the damage to this, because so I drew four cards. Yep. Next, I'm going to use my Unempty Coffin and play my Fata Pillar. So <laughs> this card gains two attack for every five cards in the discard pile. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. 10 power. I will... Incredible Egg. So now it's at 12. Okay. I just need to deal three more somehow. Which I don't think I'm doing. No, I don't think I'm doing three more. I will floop Red Island. Yep. Only two cards left. By the way, there is no deck out. If you don't, if you run out of deck, you don't lose or anything. It just means you don't draw any more cards or whatever. Just so everyone knows. I'm just gonna add back my an empty coffin. Nice. I have used an empty coffin like five times this game. Crazy. Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to attack you directly for 12. That's insane. I'm down to 3. And it is your turn. Very well. I will draw for turn. Uh, for one action, I'm going to play Orange Slimy to deal 3 burn damage. Yep. And then I'm going to use Grand Prix to return this to my hand, play it again for free, doing 3 damage. Okay, so I'm at, what was I at? Two, 8, so I'm at 2 now. You're at 2. And then I'm going to replace Orange Slimy for my second action with Golden Ninja, dealing 4 damage to this. And then I enter my battle phase. He's at two. This has two power. This is attack for game. Good game. A good game. And that is Card Wars, ladies and gentlemen. Very fun game. Definitely recommend you check out Cryptozoic and the uh, Kickstarter they're doing. And if you want to see more Card Wars content, uh, which it'll be fun. I love this game. It's a whole lot of fun. And it's very. it can be very back and forth depending on the decks you're building. I think it's really cool. Uh, this guy loves this game. I, I love this game. This game is great. It's so much fun. It's either like super heavy, it's basically Yu-Gi-Oh or it's um, magic. Like there's, it, there's, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful evening or day. Bye.